All right, we are back with 7.6 today. We're going to be working on this with sine and cosine. So yesterday we worked with uh, tangent ratio, comparing the opposite leg to the adjacent leg. And today we're going to incorporate the hypotenuse for sine and cosine. Here are the answers to 7.5. Let me know if you guys have any questions on this. If 7.5 went well for you, uh, 7.6, very, very similar to, uh, to 7.5. So the only difference between today and yesterday is that we're going to incorporate the hypotenuse. Um, so we're going to incorporate or uh, introduce sine and cosine ratios. So the sine of an angle is the uh, opposite leg. So sine is opposite leg over the hypotenuse. And then the cosine is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. So when I say adjacent, so if I'm talking about, let's say we're, we're referring to angle A here. Adjacent would be the one right next to it or making up angle A. The hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. That one should be straightforward. Um, but you have to know the difference between adjacent and opposite because it is important for this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just we're going to practice writing the, the fraction or the ratio here. Uh, find sine of s and we'll find sine of r. We'll just do the we'll just do the fraction here. So the sine of s is the opposite leg, so across from it, 63 over the hypotenuse, 65. And then the sine of r is the opposite, 16 over 65. So we're just practicing setting those up there. And then cosine here for the second one, same thing. Cosine of u now is adjacent. So the adjacent one is the 18 there. So the cosine of u is 18 over 30. And I mean, I probably should reduce these. But for the sake of this video and time, we'll keep them just as fractions. And then the cosine of w now is uh, the adjacent is 24, hypotenuse is 30, so 24 over 30. So let's, uh, let's get into some problems now and actually solve these. Uh, before I get to that, let's, uh, I guess I just have all word problems today. Uh, I'm going to set up a problem here that's not a word problem just to get it started. Uh, let's say this is 35 degrees and I I'm, I'm have x here. We'll say that hypotenuse is 19. So I have the opposite side. I'm looking for the opposite side and I have the hypotenuse. So that tells me I'm going to use sine opposite over hypotenuse. And just as in yesterday, and we have to solve for x. So this one is a nice problem because I can just multiply by 19 on both sides to get x by itself. So x equals 19. Here you're just going to use a calculator. 19 sine of 35. And that is 10.89. And then 8. I guess it's basically 10. Basically 10 points. Okay, there, we got a problem to get us going here. Uh, you want to string a cable to make a dog run from two corners of a building as shown in the diagram. So we have this dog, and we're going to let the dog go from here to here. We're trying to figure out how long that cable needs to be. Uh, we have a 35 degree angle. Basically, it's like the same question I just did. Um, opposite and hypotenuse. So we're looking at sine 35 equals 11 over x. However, the x is on the bottom this time, so this is good practice for us. Multiply by x, multiply by x, get rid of that x from the denominator into the numerator. So I have x sine 35. And just remember, sine 35 is just a number, so I can divide by it, and that's totally okay. So we're going to type in 11 divided by sine 35 into our calculator, and x equals 19 point, what does it say, approximate, 19.18, uh, so about 19.2 feet. Uh, you are skiing on a mountain with an altitude of 1,200 meters. The angle of depression is 21 degrees. About how far do you ski down the mountain? Okay, so we have this mountain. 
any altitude. Here's our slope here. The altitude is our height is 1,200 meters, and we're skiing down the mountain. Yay, we're skiing, it's fun. I got skis on, it's great. Okay, that's our skier guy. And angle of depression is 21 degrees. Okay, so angle of depression, we've talked about that before. That would mean that's a 21 degree angle there. That if we look to the horizon, look down 21 degrees, that's not the angle though that I need. This 70 or uh, 69 there, that's the angle that I need to make an 80 degree angle. So that's the angle that I'm gonna use actually. Um, so keep in mind, this is the angle of depression right here. That's not the angle you're gonna use. Um, and so how, well, how far do you still down the mountain? We're gonna call that X. So here I have the adjacent, uh, the adjacent leg and I have, I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So I'm gonna use cosine here. Cosine of 69 equals uh, adjacent 1200 over hypotenuse. Again, it's unfortunate that I have to multiply by X, but it is what it is. And then we'll divide by cosine. So we have 1200 divided by cosine. And I'm just using my calculator for this. X equals 3,348.5. And that would be your answer. So there you go. Um, a lot of these problems are all very similar. It says you want to build a skateboard ramp with length of 14 feet and an angle of elevation 26. You need to find the height and the length of the base. So you got a few different options here. Let's just find X. We'll go opposite over hypotenuse. Sine 26 equals X over 14. Solve that and then you could do cosine of 26 equals Y over 14 um, to find Y there. So solve each one of those and you'll have your, your values. And then this is the one that I like the most. Uh, you use, use a special right triangle to find the sine and cosine of a 60 degree angle. Okay, so I really think these are great problems. I don't know anything about this triangle. All I know is that the short leg, if I double that, it gives me the hypotenuse. If I multiply that by root three, it gives you the longer leg. So cosine, let's do sine first. Sine of 60 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So x root 3 is the opposite leg. Hypotenuse is 2x. Those reduce and you end up with root 3 over 2. And then the cosine of 60 equals adjacent. So x divided by hypotenuse 2x. Those reduce down to 1. So you end up with 1 half. Attention team. And you'll see a question like this in your homework. I just think that they're kind of fun, interesting uh, questions to work with. And there you go, that's sine and cosine. Um, a thing that you can remember is so, ka, toa. This will help you. Um, sine is opposite hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent hypotenuse, tangent is opposite and adjacent. Uh, so that acronym may help you. And uh, we'll chat about this in class. Thanks guys for tuning in.